breaking news right now on KCAL 9 News at 10. His play-by-play -play was poetic, and he provided the unforgettable soundtrack of the Dodgers' greatest victories, and yes, their struggles, for an incredible and legendary 67 years. Tonight, the news no one here in Southern California ever wanted to hear. Dodgers Hall of Fame announcer Vin Scully has died. He was 94 years old. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. This is KCAL 9 News at 10, also streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. We have live, in-depth coverage of Vince Scully's life and passing. That's right. We begin with KCAL 9 Jimmy Maggio with a look back at the incredible legacy that Vin leaves behind. Jamie? An incredible legacy, an incredible life, an incredible career, mm. an incredible human being. Mm. Um, to know Vin Scully was, was truly to love him, just a, a, a warm, personable man who obviously was very, very good at his job 67 years yeah. as a Dodgers broadcaster um, I, I just the sound of his voice is something that I think is ingrained in yeah. people's hearts in the city for um, sure. and for really for baseball fans everywhere um, but 94 years uh, Vin Scully an incredible life well lived uh, here's a look back Scully had a lifetime love affair with words, and few use them to more remarkable effect. For more than 60 years, as the primary voice of the Dodgers, he compellingly and even handedly delivered his unique brand of vocal magic. His legacy will not only be defined by longevity, but perhaps more importantly, by the connection he made with fans and listeners. Like great literature and music, both of which he loved, his talent was so immense as to be passed on through generations never losing its luster or impact. Vincent Edward Scully was born November 29, 1927 in the Bronx. As a young man, he did several odd jobs until discovering a love for broadcasting while in college at Fordham University. He was recruited by the legendary Red Barber, who had been so impressed with the young redhead's call of a college football game at Fenway Park, a game he called from the roof of the press box in 45 degree weather Scully had forgotten his overcoat that day, but never once complained. He joined the Brooklyn Dodgers staff in 1950, and when Barber left to broadcast with the Yankees, Scully soon became the team's lead announcer, a position he would hold for the better part of the next six decades. The Dodgers would leave their longtime home in Brooklyn in 1957 for a new home in Los Angeles, and Scully's subtle style would be introduced to a brand new and untested market for Major League Baseball. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ben Scully speaking to you from the Los Angeles Coliseum as opening day has finally come to Southern California. Though the Dodgers and their exciting announcer were instant hits in a city that knew a thing or two about celebrity, and it would be here in Los Angeles that Scully would solidify his standing in Dodgers lore every bit as important as any player who ever took the field. And over the ensuing years, his was the voice that delivered the most memorable moments in the club's history with an innate sense of when silence spoke louder than words. Two and two to Harvey Keen. One strike away. Sandy into his windup. Here's the pitch. Swung out and missed a perfect game. Five two Dodgers in the ninth. Got him. They've done it. Like the 1969 Mets. It's the impossible dream revisited. Though it wasn't only the Los Angeles faithful who could appreciate Scully's vocal brilliance. He also did games nationally for NBC as well as CBS on television and radio, as well as other sports, most notably football. In fact, it was Scully behind the mic in 1982 when Joe Montana and Dwight Clark hooked up for the play that would come to be known simply as the catch. Montana. Though it 
was baseball where he would leave his true mark. He received the top broadcasting award from the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982. He won the California Sportscast of the Year Award 28 times and inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame in 1995. And in 2009, the American Sportscasters Association named him the top sportscaster of the century. It's time for Dodger Baseball! It would be easy to view his life as charmed, but no one makes the journey unscathed. In 1972, his wife Joan died of an accidental medical overdose. Scully, father of three, would marry again in 1973 to Sandra Schaefer, who had two children of her own, and they would later have a child together. In 1994, Scully would lose his oldest son, Michael, to a helicopter accident. Through it all, Scully carried on, an intensely private man with a highly visible public persona. In rare moments, he would acknowledge that the work would ease his grief, though such subjects were never discussed when he was broadcasting. In this sense, he remained consistent, and despite all his other gifts, it might have been this consistency that was most endearing because we always knew what to expect when we turned on those radios and televisions. Vin Scully never let us down. No, he certainly did not. And this is a live look right now at Dodger Stadium where fans are starting to show up and, and pay tribute. They're lighting candles and no doubt they're having a moment there and remembering such an iconic figure in Los Angeles sports landscape. Definitely be a touchstone for what has happened uh, today with Vin Scully. And Jamie, you, you talk about how generous he was with his time, especially to journalists. And you have a good story, a firsthand story about that, don't you? Yeah, early in my career, one of the first games that I was at Dodger Stadium working, a newbie, you know, uh, really, really early in my career. We were sitting in the press box before the game started and people are eating and they're prepping and they're on their laptops and you're getting ready for the game. And Vin Scully walks by and I thought to myself, oh my my gosh, there's Vin Scully, truly a titan sure. in the industry. And he grabbed a chair at our table. He sat down. There was maybe five of us sitting there. And he's just chit-chatting and, you know, asking how we're doing. We're talking baseball. We're talking life. And I thought, my goodness, Vin Scully, who's prepping to call this game, just sat down and spent maybe 15, 20 minutes with us. And, you know, as a female... And as a, as a young journalist, to be acknowledged and accepted by someone like that yeah. really left an impression on me. And I would come to find out that's just who he was. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't any kind of special treatment. That was just who he was. He made you feel like you belonged and he welcomed you. And uh, not everybody's like that. Sure. <laughs> not everybody's like that. So, I mean, Jamie, what, what do you think it really was, though? You know, not just his <clears throat> voice, of course, that's so recognizable around the world. Um, not just the 67 years behind the mic, though. He always had a message when he was talking. He, he did, and he really knew how to uh, read the temperature of a situation. Yeah. Um, a lot of things happened on the air while he was broadcasting games. And, you know, aside from that, aside from having that um, sentimental yeah. side that understood when to let a situation breathe, he also had just such funny stories. <laughs> you know, I, I, I can't think of a specific player, but it would be like, you know, so-and-so at bat, his brother is a, a farmer in, <laughs> you know, in Arkansas, and they have a pig farm. And you're just like, wait, what? <laughs> just the, in, incredible, incredible yes, stories. Um, yes. And just such a, a gift that we have had him in our city for as long as we did, and we got to enjoy him calling those games. Uh, we're going to hear now from another Dodger legend, Steve Garvey, remembering Vince Scully. There's almost uh, a sense of we had him that long, and what a blessing to have had him that long. Um, and if life is God's gift to us, and what we do with it is our gift to him, what a fabulous gift that he gave to God by, by being so consistent and by caring uh, and doing what he did better than really anybody else, but never with any self-fanfare. Uh, always with a sense of, of duty to the game. 
Vin Scully passing away at 94 years old. He will live forever in our hearts. Jamie, thank you so much. Well, the Dodgers announcing Scully's death today during tonight's game in San Francisco at Legend Sports Bar in Long Beach. Fans telling us the room got very quiet and people immediately started sharing their memories. One fan says he remembers what he used to do when seeing the Dodgers play in person. I'm bringing our radio to the game as a kid and listening at the game to Vinny and everybody had a radio then. It was it was awesome. So we'll miss him. He was a legend and he was, man, more Dodger blue than anybody that we ever had. You know, it's tough when you hear the news. I mean, he's beloved, obviously. And I mean, no one would argue like he's the best, you know, the best play-by-play. -play. You know, he's the best announcer. And everyone, when they hear it's time for Dodger baseball, you think of Vince Scully. More Dodger blue than anybody else. Very well said. One fan told us Scully has done so much for the Dodgers, and quite simply, he is irreplaceable. And we have more reaction tonight from fans as well. Yeah, from a true blue Dodgers bar and restaurant in Highland Park, the Greyhound. We continue our live team coverage now with KCAL Minds Joy Benedict. Joy. Yeah, guys, this certainly is a tough one for Dodger faithful, not only here in Los Angeles, but really all over the world, as Vin Scully was certainly synonymous with this game for so many decades. But we are live, as you mentioned, here at Greyhound Bar in Highland Park. The game itself just ended. Still a lot of Dodger faithful in the room, obviously talking about Vin Scully, the legendary Hall of Fame voice for 67 years of this particular team. you got to remember, he also had a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And and was even awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom back in 2016 by President Barack Obama, calling his voice a signature sound in baseball. And that is what fans are remembering tonight. It was very sad. Like, it's, um, he's a staple in the Dodger community. And I think it's a loss for everybody in L.A. He's fortunate to have lived a long life. And, you know, but still, all that being said, it's, you know, it's tough when you hear the news. I mean... He's beloved, obviously. Just such a friendly face and um, such a warmth to him. He was apolitical and uh, just absolutely loved the game. So he will be missed and absolutely never forgotten. Absolutely never forgotten. That is very true, not only of Dodgers fans, but really baseball fans. Again, as that voice is something that so many heard for so many decades, but such a loss and one that will not be forgotten, not only here, but elsewhere, as we continue to remember this legend for days and years to come. I'll say about you guys. Joy, thank you. And moments ago, the L.A. Dodgers released a touching tribute to Scully. Here is their video in its entirety. What a marvelous moment for the country and the world. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the Deep South for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. It looks like he's going to burn a flag, and Rick Monday runs and takes it away from him. And so Monday, I think a guy was going to set fire to the American flag. Can you imagine that? He's got it. The Los Angeles Dodgers have just about done the impossible. It deserved. And the fly ball, the deep right, blanks to the track. It is gone. He has hit another one. Que viva Cuba. Viva Pui. Despite not traveling during his 67th season, he went to San Francisco for the season-ending series. And for the final time in his career, Vin Scully called Dodger baseball. So this is Vin Scully wishing you a very pleasant good afternoon wherever you may be. After more than 67 years chock full of colorful observations, anecdotes, and stories that only a man of his unique talent and experience could provide, Dodger fans will forever remember him most for his signature five-word introduction to Dodger broadcasts. It's time for Dodger baseball. The game goes on, and so does Vin Scully's memory.
And we will have much more on this story as tributes pour in from all over the country for Vin Scully. So please stay with KCAL 9 as we provide continuing coverage on Scully's life and legacy. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.